new Secretary of Defense paid a visit to Rhode Island today. He took part in an annual conference where he outlined the biggest military challenges to the U.S. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen was at the conference and tells us about it new at 6. Steve? Well, while the new Defense Secretary was here in New England on the Atlantic coast, he said the focus is in the Pacific. That's where he says the U.S.'s biggest threats lie. The Secretary of Defense, Mark Esper. As Rhode Island congressional leaders introduced Secretary, him. Mr. Secretary, please join us. U.S. Secretary of Defense, Mark Esper, emphasized this region's role in the world. Today, in 2019, New England remains crucial to Americans' continued maritime dominance. Esper spoke at the conference for the Southeastern New England Defense Industry Alliance in Newport. Recently appointed as secretary, Esper was previously a lobbyist for Raytheon. As some of you may know, this is not my first time attending this conference. It is my first time at the big kids table. He stressed the need for Congress to approve funding on time. Our ability to modernize the force requires predictable, adequate and timely funding. And he said all eyes are on the Pacific as China and Russia make large advances in their navies. This is our priority theater. Esper told the defense contractors the future of undersea warfare is in artificial intelligence and robotics. Whoever gets there first will have dominance for some period of time. And we need to double down on our efforts to get there first. Esper is not the first defense secretary to speak at this conference. In 2014, Chuck Hagel spoke to contractors. He said this region is the Silicon Valley of undersea warfare. Esper reminded the crowd of that comment today and said it remains true. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.